Welcome. This video covers step one of the SAP Sales and Distribution case study. Uh, so we're going to work through this. Uh, you may want to get your PDF of the case study so that you can walk through it with me. Uh, and I will try to get you through as quickly as I can on this. You will notice that it says on the PDF that this should take you about 10 minutes. However, I will tell you that until you get used to reading that PDF and knowing where things are inside of SAP, there are times you can spend 10 minutes just looking for one area that it's telling you need to go to. So I highly recommend watching these videos at least until you get the feel for how things are going forward. So if you look on page four, uh, in the middle of the page, it says to create a new customer, here's what we're going to do. You're going to go to logistics and inside of logistics, and again, I'm just left clicking here, left click it into sales and distribution, master data, business partner, customer, and then we're going to create, we're going to create a complete. So double click on complete. So once again, what we're doing right now is we're creating a complete um, customer right now. It tells you here that we are going to be choosing the center part which is organization so click on organization uh, and click on continue this brings you into a new screen it's telling you here on that page that that you're in the create organization role F1 uh, customer is where we are um, so in this in the create and BP role which is this screen it says make sure that it is in the FI customer new which we are enter company for title if you click on it you'll see that that's our option for company under the name type in the bike zone all right and then your number in the search terms. Search terms is how you can go back and look this up later. It's just a shortcut for being able to find things. Um, the role that I'm using right now is learn 051. However, you have your own number. So, but for me, the hashtag, hashtag, hashtag is 051. Again, you have a different one. You need to put your own in there. Finally, it says in here that we need to enter for the street address. And again, this is under standard address. Again, getting used to reading these PDFs and what they're telling you. If you flip over to page five, uh, at the very top, it shows you what it's trying to put in there. So sometimes when you're looking at this and reading it, uh, if you'll just look just a little bit ahead, to see what's in there, it'll it'll help you see what's going on. Okay, so back in here, we're looking at standard address area, and in the standard address area for the street, we're putting 2144 North Orange Avenue. For the postal code, we're putting in 32804. You'll see here for city is the next one over. So under city, we're putting in Orlando. And country is US. And finally, in the region, we're doing FL for Florida. Uh, it pops up there. You can click it, make sure it gets in there correctly. And then finally, it tells us to select English for the language. Uh, one other quick thing to note is if the screen has a little red asterisk like this, it's not going to let you move forward unless you fill something in there. So, okay, so we put in English as our language. I'm flipping over to page five. On the very top of page five, it tells you that you're looking for this icon in the standard address to see adi additional address options. So we're going to go back up here to standard address. We find the icon, 
click on that icon and what it's doing is it's opening up more data fields for us okay so once it gets to that data field transportation zone pops up at the very top if you click on the uh, magnifying glass it'll open up your options we're trying to do region east for this customer if I double left click on it it went ahead and brought that in okay and then it says click on company code um, and you can look everywhere in here and you're going to probably have a hard time finding company code however if you and the reason for that is that your screen isn't set up wide enough right now so there are some things in your screen that you just can't see yet and if you get to a point to where you just can't find what's going on one quick hint come up here to this more left click it and you will see that company code is one of those things that we just can't see in our screen right now I'm gonna double left click company code company code now pops up and in company code I'm going to enter US 00 again double left click it okay so we're moving well there it says now in the customer account management area so again look through the screen try to figure out where it's going customer account management is what it's looking for and it tells us we're going to put um, under reconciliation accounting we're going to put one one All right. See if she see why it didn't want to go there. One one zero 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 zero. Okay, that is our reconciliation, and then for the sort key, we're going to put zero zero one. All right, that gets us over to page six page six it shows you what where we should have gone and what should have been put in there now we're gonna to go to in the middle of page six we need to go to the customer payment transaction tab clicking here and in the customer payments transaction area we're gonna enter in payment terms zero 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 one it says confirm it by hitting enter and then it says to go to the drop down behind the BP roll. It's asking you to come back up here to the top again. See this um, create in BP roll. And now we're going to take and choose customer in this area. Pop up comes up here and says, okay, wait a second. Are we going to are we going to create this? Um, that is entered, not saved. So now it says we're going to go ahead and save it. When we save it, you'll see down here on the bottom left that your cust your partner number now has been created. Uh, and I don't know why SAP ends up putting things in the in the bottom for you to look at, but it popped up down there, and and that's our new uh, customer number. You need to jot that down. You'll need that later on. Okay, so that's done. Now it says to find the sales and distribution area. Again, this is one where uh, it's probably hidden from you because of your screen you might be able to find it however if you don't find it click up here on more go to sales and distribution with a double left click under sales and distribution under sales org it says put in UE00 distribution channel of WH Division is going to be bicycle, which is BI. You would not ex be expected to know these things. These would be things that would have to be told to you. Okay, so we have all of those things in there. Once we're in there, uh, now it says that we need to make sure that USD is uh, what's set for currency. So make sure that you're on the orders tab. And in the orders tab, 
start scrolling down and you can see that when we start scrolling down all of a sudden we get stuck. Um, you have a scroll bar here to help you move and you have a scroll bar here. So sometimes you can't see everything that's in your uh, screen unless you are scrolling on both of them. So that will help you move um, through and get all those areas. Again down here in currency we are putting USD and so we have USD in there for currency scroll down a little bit further and you'll be able to see that under customer price proc or customer pricing procedure that one is there um, it tells us to enter US 0003 for sales district that is back up higher under the sales district area again red asterisk is showing us that we really do need to fill that out US 0003 and then it tells us that we need to put in 01 for customer group 01 for price group and again sometimes this is really just uh, searching around to try to find the field that they're telling us to put it in for and then it tells us to click on the shipping tab again I'm on page 7 and so I click on the shipping tab now shipping tab it tells me for delivery priority is 02 so put that in there shipping conditions 01 delivery plant is going to be the Miami plant so we can either type in MI00 or you can click over here on the side and see what the options are so there's the Miami plant double left click it and it brings that in and then finally it tells you that for maximum partial deliveries we're gonna put three which says that if I'm gonna to have to break this thing up um, I can break it up into maximum of three deliveries If you look on the bottom of page seven it's telling you to check everything to make sure that things look like this we switch over to page eight page 8 now tells us to go to the billing tab and under the billing tab in the ENCO terms which is this field we're going to write FOB which stands for free on board okay so free on board is in there Miami for the ENCO terms location and for payment terms is 0001 for the account assessment group codes we're putting in zero, uh, zero 001 and then finally it tells us here that for the tax classifications and if you hover over this you can see the the full uh, amount tax classification it tells us we're going to put in zero for all three of these okay that has all of the information in there what we have just done is we've created a new customer we've put all of the information into our database about the uh, the master data that we're going to need to deal with this customer so that we can sell them stuff in the future and how we can manage things so what we've done now is we've, we have it all in there let's click save and once it's saved it's in there it gives us our business partner once again just in case you didn't write it down earlier and what we've done is uh, we finished step one. All right. Thank you.